Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to the weekend. It is the Earth Master here on this Saturday, uh, January 20th, 2024. It's about 11.45 a.m. here, California time. Uh, latest activity shows a 1.2 into the region of Alaska. We'll check that out here in just a second. Looking at the overview here of Iceland. Last 12 hours of earthquake activity shows about 29 uh, scattered out and about here. A little bit going on down around Grindavik as well uh, roughly right around where that fisher activity opened up here uh, a couple few days ago now uh, no noticeable uptick uh, in terms of earthquake activity uh, we are seeing a little bit of movement south here along this plate boundary uh, well south yesterday there was a 4.8 but we'll continue to watch this area uh, across the divergent zones for uh, any signs of uptick uh, that may take place around the iceland area uh, looking at the movement up here in Alaska, goodness, seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity following yesterday's event, uh, which was a 5.3 earthquake. Decent size earthquake felt uh, broadly across the area of Fairbanks and the surrounding regions, mostly light to moderate shaking. Unless you're right underneath the epicenter there, uh, then it looks like uh, quite a few folks reported some strong shaking. Uh, from this earthquake it was relatively shallow at about seven kilometers there below the surface it is in a zone where we do see quite a bit of historical active uh, earthquake activity here and some of these quakes can be up there in the six range uh, but for now uh, that was a 5.3 and uh, there's definitely been a whole bunch of aftershock activity coming up on 200 earthquakes uh, so far uh, since that uh, 5.3 struck yesterday it's a lot. Seems like a lot of uh, aftershock activity, but uh, sometimes we can see that uh, type of event. As far as this uh, swarming of aftershock activity um, with any moderate sized quake like that 5.3 that struck yesterday. So continue to watch it. Uh, it is north of the uh, Alaska range. Not for certain which uh, fault system this struck on here. It looks like it's on the edge of these mountains. Um, so yeah, just kind of keeping an eye on it. Uh, these, I like to watch the uh, depth depths here for these earthquakes, and uh, they're a little all over the place right now. It looks like uh, roughly shallow down to even some deeper movement quakes here across the area. Uh, so kind of watch that uh, could potentially lead to uh, maybe something bigger out here. It's always a chance, right? Uh, Let's see what we got for uh, aftershock activity. 3.7 being reported there as the largest aftershock so far. Uh, there's a couple threes in there as well. Latest quake though in this region shows 2.2 uh, away from this area. So regional stress uh, quite high up there in Alaska. As far as west coast activity goes, California still seeing some movement here across the San Andreas Fault. That is the... Uh, Looks like it's on the creeping section of it right there in the uh got a couple little earthquakes there the latest one shows a 1.7 there pinnacles and uh southern california seeing a little bit of movement here on the san jacinto fault zone looks like there's a little bit of a uh, activity there let me see what we got for movement uh looks like there's a couple threes coming in here just west of the salt and sea area that is on the uh, ANSA section of the San Jacinto Fault Zone. 3.4 and a 3.1 today. Literally within minutes of each other here, it looks like. Uh, so some uptick going on there in Southern Cal. A couple different segments of the uh, this fault system here showing some uh, elevated activity up north. And of course, this activity down south here where we're seeing some threes. Uh, the San Andreas Fault sleeps for now. One earthquake on that uh, plate boundary at 1.0 uh, from yesterday. Uh, looking at the rest of the states here up north into the Seattle area. A couple smaller quakes here from yesterday. We did have one though this morning. It looks like a 2.6. About 24 kilometers deep here south of Seattle. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, nothing showing up there, but uh, let me give a quick uh, glance at uh, the seismos. Uh, there is that, uh, this is going to be that six-pointer that struck here just a little bit ago out in the Mariana Islands. It showed up uh, fairly nicely. 
Let's see, when did that earthquake strike out here? Those relatively deep here into the Mariana Trench, 184 kilometers deep here for that 6.1. Uh, about almost 8 o'clock or so, my time, that would uh, be this earthquake right here that kind of showed up on the seismograph stations there at Yellowstone. Um, there is one earthquake here, it looks like, uh, that is local to the area. Hard to see exactly where it's at far as the uh, location, but I'm talking about this one right here. Decent, well, decent sized earthquake showed up all across the seismograph stations here. It's going to be this little spike here. Um, I'm not seeing anything showing up here, though, across the Yellowstone area. Um, guessing it wasn't above 2.5. Kind of looks like it is, though, the way it showed, the way it showed up uh, across all of the uh, seismos there. But, uh, well, I guess we'll have to wait till Monday once they review that data. Uh, but aside from that, uh, really not seeing any swarming going on. Just a handful of smaller quakes in the area. Looks like some type of wind event here uh, within the last hour or so. Let me go over and double check that uh, from the windy map. Wind gusts. I'm going to go up here and check this out. doesn't look all that, uh, not super windy up there. Um... Got some gusts around 20 miles an hour or so, a little bit more up north. Uh, but this reading right here looks like it is uh, wind-related. Showing up down here across Mo Moose Creek as well, so we'll keep an eye on that. See if uh, see if that is indeed wind. Kind of looks like it. All right, uh, what else we got here for the states? Texas, Oklahoma. Typical movement out there in the oil fields. Nothing new. Uh, got one earthquake out here in Arkansas. Pretty close here to the New Madrid seismic zone. 1.5 uh, coming in earlier this morning. About 3 o'clock my time, a.m. Uh, Puerto Rico Trench. A handful of threes out here today. Nothing major going on. There's our movement up north. Um, south of Iceland, a good distance. But we'll continue to watch areas around the Iceland area, north and south, for some further movement. Uh, that could be uh, uh, that could amplify things there across the uh, region of Greenvik. 5.0 last night uh, looks like 45 kilometers deep there in the South Sandwich Trench. Uh, let's see what else we got. Look at Alaska just lighting up out here. Looks like maybe something's about ready to kick up something bigger. Uh, the Big Island of Hawaii. Get a little bit of movement out around the Kilauea Volcano. Here's one earthquake. I believe that's from yesterday. Uh, just west of Mauna Kea. Let's go ahead and check out the latest um, volcano statement here real quick from the USGS on Kilauea Volcano. Uh, update was put out today. The volcano is currently not erupting. Check out the tilt meter here as well. See if we got anything new going on there in terms of inflation, deflation trends. Last time I checked yesterday there was on the steady rise. And uh, there we go. As predicted, uh, it's taken off again. And it is definitely above the previous level of inflation each time. We're building and building and building. It's got this trend to it. It's, it's almost like a heartbeat here. Every, so day, every, every few days or so. After inflation, we get this little mellowing out of deflation, or uh, roughly level, uh, without uh, you know without inflation or deflation. But most of the time, it does drop, though. Notice that we're we're seeing some deflation following the elevated events there. Uh, so yeah, anyway, we're up, and uh, we're up above the level. We're at the highest level now since uh, 2018. Since the 2011, uh, 2018 eruption. So this is a decent spike up. We'll continue to watch that. Um, let's check out the earthquake seismos here. See what we got. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity. Um, just some small spikes here being reported, it looks like. Handful of earthquakes. One within the last few minutes or so. Uh, I believe before anything uh, opens up out here in terms of eruptive fissure activity, uh, we'll see a, a large uptick in earthquake activity. Uh, and we're just not seeing that yet. Here's an overview of well, a portion of the lava lake area. 
up at the summit of Kilauea Volcano. This is lens flare, not on the surface here, uh, but uh, you can see some of it right here as well. That's due to the uh, direction that the sun is shining into the lens here of the camera uh, that goes away and moves with time. But as uh, far as uh, the lava lake area, it looks, uh, well, looks a little smoky, some volcanic gas out there, but that's uh, normal as that uh, activity finds its way up to the surface through the tiniest of cracks. But now, uh, not really seeing anything of a worthy value, but we'll continue to watch that. Uh, inflation definitely getting up there. All right, there's this earthquake that struck well, a few hours or so now, a 6.1. Did see some shallower earthquake activity just prior to it. So it looks like things are stressed down into the subduction level itself. Continue to watch that, maybe for some further movement uh, upstream now that we got that deeper activity triggering uh, the regions underneath this area. Like I say, 184 kilometers deep of this, into this subduction zone. Uh, some further activity here across the close to the East China Sea. Had a 4.5 uh, earlier this morning. One little earthquake out around the Andaman Sea. That earthquake coming in yesterday. Uh, let's see what we got back building here. This is off of the plate boundary. 5.2. That's kind of an odd one, but there is some uh, uh, some faults and uh, stuff over here as well. All right, uh, let's look at the Earthquake 3D globe, see what else we got. It looks as though... Man, somebody turned down my... Uh, my days here, not for sure. At least the time, the time span here on the globe... So I pulled it back a little bit. Um, it does look like I added more quakes on, on here on the globe, but uh, I want to make sure I keep it at the 24 hour threshold here. Maybe right about, maybe right about there. Okay. Uh, either way, what else we got? New Zealand, fairly quiet down here. Really not seeing anything spectacular going on there for now. Uh, and of course, uh, South America still seeing some movement. Middle America trench as well. Continue to watch that one. Look at this earthquake way up here. 4.2. Let's see. It doesn't look like USGS reporting that 4.2. Fairly recent, uh, but that's a dis that's a ways up here, up around the Russia area. All right, so we'll continue to watch uh, Alaska, maybe for some further movement. This is just crazy uh, amount of earthquake activity taking place up there right now. Solar weather space weather anything major going on here lots and lots of sunspots but uh in terms of complexity let's see what we got uh 3559 is uh one of our newer sunspots here about the only region maybe that is showing some potential growth out here in complexity all these other regional sunspots here are just kind of cruising on by without uh creating much flaring so we'll watch this one up here it is uh getting into earth directed view uh maybe for some further um flaring it looks like we did have some sea flare activity here overnight overall threat 95 percent chance for a sea flare imp impler at 35 x flare around five percent chance or so and uh really nothing major in terms of auroras here in our forecast for now uh, what do we got? Uh, Storm Prediction Center out here. No severe thunderstorms. In fact, it uh, doesn't look like there's any chance of thunderstorms out here for our current day one. We do have a storm system coming in. Actually, it kind of rained last night and um, it rained a little bit this morning, but we're starting to get a little bit of a uh, rain shadow out here in the valley, meaning, uh, well, where I live here outside of Chico, most of the rain's been hitting the mountain range here to our west squeezing out all that moisture and leaving us dry here in the valley uh, like i said we did get a little bit but you can see that rain shadow right here in the northern sacramento valley here uh, either way that'll fill in slightly as we get a series of storms here <clears throat> and that uh, looks like a stronger system as we head into late sunday night early monday morning and uh, some more moisture flowing up here uh, from the south into texas so 
looks like we might have an active weather pattern here uh, as we head into the new week and uh, california like i say we got looks like we're getting some more systems there as we head into february as well so looks like things are going to start cooking out here in terms of uh storm systems so all right i'm out of here folks um live seismograph stations here look uh well, it looks fairly quiet. Yellowstone showing some activity here across Lake Yellowstone, but hard to say if those are distinct earthquakes or just some type of environmental noise. Like I say, there is some wind kicking up out there, but uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. Have a good one. Enjoy your Saturday. And uh, we'll catch you guys back out here tonight. I didn't get a chance to do an update last night. It was kind of busy, um, but uh, we'll definitely get one later tonight as well I'll definitely get one later tonight for sure so we'll see you guys back there take care peace out